y'all. Welcome back to Cast Ventures. <laughs> um, so a big question that we get a lot of the times is how do you travel so much and what do you do to travel on a budget? And we're always giving advice to people and so finally we're like, why don't we just do a whole vlog dedicated to traveling on a budget? So Welcome to Traveling on a Budget. Fortunately, we've traveled enough to know the tips and tricks to saving money, where to cut corners, and how to make the most out of your trips with as little money as possible. tip for you today is the first thing you need to worry about um, in our opinion is airfare okay because airfare can get a little expensive um, if you don't know the ways to do it my number one advice to anybody who asks me how do you save money when traveling download hopper yes. like get the app on your phone you want to download hopper on your phone First things first, before you go and book anything. Um, what you can do is on Hopper, it's really cool, so you pick the dates that you wanna go, and you go and search up a city. You put in the dates that you're thinking about traveling, um, and then from there, it gives you prices. It tells you like what's gonna be the cheapest days, which ones are gonna be the more expensive, um, and then it asks you if like you're flexible, and if you're flexible, they'll usually find you even better deals. So from there, the bunny does his work over time, and you just get notifications as to when the price is dropping or when it's increasing. Usually the best price whenever planning the trips for us always comes about five months ahead of time. I think that's when we've gotten most of our best deals. Yeah. Um, upcoming, we're going to Barcelona for only $500. Um, and we actually went to San Francisco for only $150 round trip. I have a sister who went to Ireland for only $300 round trip, as well as Italy for about $350 round trip. Get this bunny in your pocket and keep some money in your pocket. Another tip that we want to give you is the, uh, the air miles on credit cards. Now, yeah, you have to get a credit card, but sometimes these credit cards come with huge perks. I have American Airlines credit card. I have the United credit card. Shout out to United and American. Give us some miles. Woo! So, I've actually flown to Barcelona four times for free. For free. Okay? And then we're going to Mexico City round trip free. We're not saying go splurge with some credit cards. We do not suggest that, that is not budget friendly. But use them for things that you're already spending on like your bills and whatnot and rack up those free miles. Be sure to pack the essentials because you don't want to get over there and once you get to some of these places, they overcharge for everything. I'm talking a bottle of shampoo goes up three times the price. Like especially when we went to Vegas, um, I had to buy makeup because I forgot my foundation and the makeup was like three times the price. And we're like, what the heck? So to be budget friendly, shop at home, bring the essentials from home. Booking a hotel or booking a place to stay. The best way that uh, we figured out is to do Airbnb. That's probably the best way to save money. If you don't have an Airbnb account, we're gonna put the link below. Use our promo code, it would help you guys out and it's gonna help us out too. Now with Airbnb, the true way to do it and save money is to rent rooms. Don't rent a whole place for yourself. There's places on Airbnb where they rent you a room, they don't rent you a whole place, and they go from $20 a night to $50 a night. And if it's two of you, you can split that and that's $20, $25 per person. People on Airbnb, they're really nice. You can read their reviews before you rent the place and you can check out what other people have to say about uh, the people renting these places. Uh, but man, we've done Airbnbs, I wanna say 20. We've rented about 20 places and every host has been incredible every one of them if you stay further out you will find cheaper prices on airbnbs and hotels but if you stay in the city center or near the main attractions the price is going to go up another thing that we like to use is priceline the choose your deal feature 
Now what you do is you select an area where you want to stay in the city and then you, you tell Priceline, hey, I only want to spend $70 a night uh, on this hotel. And then Priceline gives you a hotel. They won't give you the name of the hotel, but they will give you a hotel in that area. And then you click yes to it and you have a hotel for you for the night. We found a really good one in New York, in Times Square, Thanksgiving week, for less than $90 a night. It was right there in the middle of all of the action. We literally got to walk out and go see the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade from our hotel. In Las Vegas, we stayed at the Paris Hotel, y'all. It's the best hotel in Vegas. Sorry, other hotels. But it really is for $70 a night in the summer. Okay, so Priceline will give you great deals for cheap. Huge shout out to Priceline for that. Hostels. Um, I've never actually stayed in a hostel, but B. I've stayed at hostels and it's really, really inexpensive. Sometimes uh, you can find a hostel for $20 a night, which is super cheap. But you do need to know that sometimes you have to share restrooms, you have to share showers. And you have to share the room with four, five, ten people. It all depends on the hostel. So if you're traveling solo or if you're traveling with someone that is willing to stay at a hostel with ten other people in the same room, then uh, do it. You have to set a budget in order to be budget conscious, right? So before you go on your travels, we highly, highly, highly suggest that you set a budget. It just makes everything way easier for you. You're more conscious about your money. We've been on trips where we haven't set a budget, and let me tell you, we came back like, like why did we do that? So every time we go to Spain, we set a daily budget for ourselves. Um, so a lot of times we'll do like, okay, let's try to spend 100 euros a day together. So 50 euros each. So the only way to stay budget conscious is to set a budget and stick to your budget. All right, so the next budget tip that we have for you is transportation. Um, so we're gonna talk about the cheapest way to the most expensive way. The cheapest way is free. It's called walking. In every city that you're going to, walk walk until you cannot walk anymore not only does it save you money but you get to see so much more things and you slam down while you're traveling you get to eat as much as you want because it's okay you're walking it off like i said you get to see everything whenever we went to vegas recently we walked the entire strip we saw so many things we got to go into like every hotel and we got so many picture opportunities and we would have missed all of that if we would have taken a taxi or an uber all right another way to save money is by using public transportation don't be afraid to ask the locals for directions or how to use public transportation from our experience um, people the locals are very friendly and they are willing to help you just gotta ask yeah. plus it's part of the experience it's part of the trip uh part of the trip man just go out it'll be a great anecdote to talk about if you get lost or if you don't. Uh, most places we've been to, they're great, they're inexpensive, and it's also part of the experience of going to these places. You get to see the locals, you sometimes get to interact with the locals. Sometimes there's even uh, shows on these, um, free shows on these places. Sure. You have people singing, you have people dancing, you have uh, people just going up to you and talking to you. So go ahead and do that, uh, experience it. So another way to move around is with Uber. If you don't have the Uber app, get it. Uh, again, description below how to use the Uber app. Um, use our promo code. Again, it'll help you and it'll help us. But one thing that we like to do is whenever we travel with groups, we just split the fare. And with Uber and with Lyft, you can do that too on the app. All right, in our last resort, if you're trying to get around, like absolute last thing to do would be to take a taxi. We do not recommend it, especially in our budget, in our budget blog, because they overcharge you and a lot of taxis are known for scamming you. So again, walk, metro, bus, Uber, Lyft, all of these things, look into those options before you call for a taxi. One big advice that we recommend you guys to do 
is do your research, figure out how you're gonna go from the airport to the hotel before you even get there. That way you're not caught off guard. Most of the times, the airports are located far from the city and we've, uh, we've been to places where we've had to spend 25, 35, 40, even $50 uh, for a taxi just to go from the airport to the hotel. I've even spent 100 to go from the hotel to the airport, 100 euros. That was a lot of money. I think I got scammed that time. Do your research. Do your research. <laughs> Anytime we get somewhere, especially if we're staying for a couple of days in one city, we go to the market. Like that's one of the first things we do. We check into our hotel, drop off our stuff and go to the local market. There we get food and drinks. And we almost never really just like go ev go into restaurants every time we're hungry. We pack some things and take them with us. This saves you so much money, y'all. Because if you go into a restaurant every single time you're hungry, yeah, you go ahead and kiss that budget goodbye. It's not going to last. So we go, we get like muffins, sometimes we'll get sandwich stuff. Um, we always get water. Okay, and then the next thing um, I kind of touched on it is street food. So we said stay away from the tourist traps, um, but for lunches for every day, what we usually do is we just eat local street food. And that is usually the best food. So like in New York, we had hot dogs. In Amsterdam, we had to-go fries, or he had herring. I wasn't about that life. In Greece, we had gyros. I'm getting hungry. But it's way cheaper it's way more authentic and it's it's something that you need to do to stay on budget and to get the true experience of whatever culture you are and then going into that talking about restaurants you are going to want to go to restaurants you're going to want to go and have a nice meal at least one of your evenings that you're there and we say do it like splurge on the place but you don't have to splurge um money wise so you can still stick to a budget how v and i usually do that is we will get one big meal and split it and then maybe an appetizer and then we just split everything the portions are so big so don't waste your money go out to eat split a meal split the bill and enjoy yourself enjoy that nice cuisine um without emptying your wallet Okay, so the next thing that we're going to talk about is what to do. We talked about eating, sleeping, drinking, getting there. Now, let's get to the fun stuff. What are you going to do and how are you going to stay on your budget? Well, guess what? Everywhere you're going, pretty much everything you want to see is free, right? We go for the landmarks and the experience most of the time. So, a lot of those things that you want to do are free. Now, almost every single one of those you can pay to like go inside or explore them a little bit more but you don't necessarily need to especially if you're trying to stick to a budget um because of the budget and because of time there's so much to see in every city and if you go in and you spend money then you're going to spend like three hours at a place and then you're going to cut what you get to do and experience down and you're not going to get to so look up all the free attractions that you can do and go there if you if it's something that you just have always wanted to do then we we encourage you to spend money we want you to live your dreams as well as being budget friendly um but don't just go oh i want to i want to see the coliseum so let me spend and get a tour when we think that walking around will suffice true uh, most european cities and uh, American cities have companies that do free tours. Now they're not completely free. You're gonna have to pay a tip, but it's it's way better than having to pay 20, 30 dollars or 20, 30 euros for a tour or a tour guide. Whenever you're gonna go to a city, do some research before you go there so you know what these landmarks are and the history behind them. That's gonna save you money too. Sometimes you wanna do the tours because you don't know anything about these places. But if you watch videos beforehand, or if you read about it before you get there, you're gonna know the history, you're gonna know what these places are, and that's gonna save you money. And, and then, it makes it so much more exciting once you get there and you've like looked this place up, and then when you see it in person, it's like, <gasps> like it's more authentic, and then you're not missing out on things too. Also, look up the museums in Amsterdam and in London and in all these cities around the world. Usually they have free days which are again usually uh, Sundays or Mondays 
Uh, but yeah, do your research. Look it up. Figure out what days are free. Figure out which museums you want to visit. Okay, another tip that we want to give you is if you are tempted to go out to clubs, if you are tempted to go out partying, don't. It's not worth it. Everything is overpriced. You're going to wake up the next day with a hangover and you'll end up spending a lot of money just because you wanted to experience something that you can experience in your hometown. All you see at the clubs is tourists like us partying and it's the same music that you listen to in your hometown. Just don't. If you really want to experience that, we recommend you ask locals for the local bars or the local pubs. Bouncing off of that, um, one bonus tip for us is waking up early and going and exploring early. When we notice that um, the days that we wake up at like, we go out at like seven or eight, we are able to eat breakfast and we're able to explore the city and get to see all of the attractions without the crowd. So don't go clubbing, wake up early and you'll get to enjoy most of the day. Yeah, you can you can club in on the street. <laughs> All right, and finally, one thing that you need to do to be able to save money when traveling is doing research. Guys, it takes me about a day or two to plan out an itinerary for a city, but it's definitely worth it. Just take your time, plan out everything that we just told you getting there, how to go from the airport to your hotel, the Uber, the prices, does the city take Uber, does it take Lyft, uh, the tours, the free tour guides, uh, plan out and research and take your time doing all these things and you're going to cut your trip in about half the price. And we are going to put the links to everything um, that we talked about below. So whether it's an app or a website or any other little tips. So please check out the description. If you have any budget travel tips or things to do or not to do for your fellow travelers, please comment them below. Help us out. Help us out too. Help us save even more money on our next trip. Um, we really appreciate it. As always, if you like this video, don't forget to actually like it. Give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel and click the bell so that you get notifications for all of our upcoming vlogs. Don't forget to follow us at Cast Ventures on Instagram, Pinterest, and YouTube. And of course, our blog at castventures.org. Now go travel and save some money.